Hi everyone, welcome to Prep Fusion. So before starting this video, this video is going to be completely non-technical. So if you came to YouTube for studying purpose, then you can go and study. And if you came for the free time, if you are having some free time, then you can certainly watch this video for next 5 to 10 minutes. So you would have seen the thumbnail, I have completed one year as a full-time educator. So previously I was working, like I passed out in 2023, then I worked in a, in an organization, in a VLSI organization for a, for a year, then I on 21st June only, like last year on 21st June only, it was my last working day. So it's been a one year since I have been working as a full-time gate educator. Gate and along with that I teach for VLSI placements as well. So yeah, it's been a very good journey actually, very very good journey. So again and again, whenever I take any live session, this query I always receive that why did you leave your job? And this query I have always answered that I was passionate about teaching. Look, when I went into science, when I went into engineering, when I went into electronics engineering, I never ever said that I am passionate about science. I'm, I never ever said that I am passionate about uh, electronics. And 95% of the students who are actually studying electronics engineering, they are not passionate about it. Like 95% of the coders who are actually doing the software engineering, they are not passionate about software engineering. Everyone, most of the people here, those who are watching this video, they are passionate about making their career. That's it. Right? We are all passionate about making their making our career. We got into this branch because through our J rank, through our score, we got this particular branch. Then we studied it because we saw there are some opportunities and we can get the job. And this is why this is why I studied it. But later on, with the time, I realized that I am some I have something which I am passionate about. And if you find something which you are passionate about, then certainly you should go for it. And I realized that I am passionate about teaching. And just as I realized it. I took the decision that I'm gonna go for full-time teaching. Then there was options that uh, what kind of teaching I should do. Like just as I have already told, I'm not passionate about electronics. I am passionate about teaching. I was always passionate about teaching. So it could be anything like I can teach like to, today I'm teaching electronics engineering. Like after five years, I might not be teaching electronics engineering. I might be teaching something else or it might happen that I'm teaching electronics engineering only, right? I love teaching electronics engineering. I love teaching anything else as well. From the class 7th, from class 8th, class 9th, class 10th, whenever I was in school, whenever I used to get time, I used to teach my batchmates, even my juniors or even my seniors as well. Even in the college as well, I used to teach all the people around there. So yeah, it was always there, but I never ever realized it that uh, I am passionate about it. Once I realized it, then I took the decision, right? So it was there like when I dropped the job, before dropping the job, when I was thinking that I should go for full-time teaching. So I was thinking that what I should teach. So Oh, always like I would be having two options whether to go for J or to go for gate examination so going for J was never an option because I was also not having that great rank like if my own rank is 13,000 in J advanced then how would I tell anyone to get AIR1 right but in gate examination in third year itself I was having a very good rank I was having a rank of 27 then then I can confidently say that this kind of things you can do to get AIR1 because I was already having a rank and uh, for electronic subject as well, I was completely confident because I was always in touch with my electronic subject. And I started YouTube as well before that only like uh, when I was in fourth semester. So I was doing YouTube as well. So from so fourth semester onwards uh, only I was doing YouTube. So there I used to teach uh, like some someday I used to teach communication, some question I used to deal for analog electronics. Then I started making videos on RC circuit. So those videos actually blew up. So people liked those videos. So I understood that what kind of content my audience is expecting from my side. So that kind of content I uh, started bringing. So these kind of things I used to teach. And then uh, like when I was in fourth year, I launched my first paid course that was about placements. So regarding the placements, I launched my paid course and uh, then that also blew up actually. That also went uh, pretty good. So yeah, things went like this, but I was never ever thinking of going into full-time teaching until like uh, roughly around uh, I would say in February or March, in February or March 2024, I realized that after the gate examination or near the gate 2024 examination, I realized that, yeah, this is something I want to do full time. So I took the decision and uh, talked to my team. And after some time, like I made a decision, I made a full fledged decision that uh, I should go for it. And like my team was very supportive in the organization that I was working in. Like this is the thing with our VLSI organization, our organization, like all the organization, mostly all the organization and mostly all the teams are very, very supportive actually. Like. Uh, uh, first they told me that if you are pretty sure and uh, then they like they asked me to stay as well because like it is a risky thing no so they always they were always there to support me that was the best part, part about uh, working in the VLSI organization and uh, if I talk about the working in the organization then people were were really really helpful 
like not in only in my not only in my team in every team people were really helpful right so this is the beauty of our field like there are not enough resources you know that right you wouldn't find much of a research paper as well so but the help of your colleague or even your seniors that would be that would be like that would be the best thing that will that will happen to you in our organization like because you would need the help of people okay if you go in this field believe me guys have the good connections because you would need the help of people alone like a single guys can never survive in this industry if you feel like that i can i don't need anyone's help i can survive in this industry on my own i am you might be having an iq of 150 you might be having an iq of 160 165 170 or even more than sheldon but still you will not be able to survive on your own in this industry because on online all these resources are not available so you would need the help of people and people are actually really really helpful in the organization that i was working in massive support was there massive massive support was there so that was the best thing but the thing was there that i was more passionate i was more inclined towards uh, this teaching thing and i was doing it as well like part time i used to do when i was a uh, uh employee only so part time also i used to do this teaching thing so i was really interested in that and uh, like yeah so that time i took the decision but uh, yeah fear was there because at that time it was there that uh, gate is going down people are not writing down gate examination this kind of notion was there people were thinking that okay gate is uh, like uh, gate field is going down people are not interested in vlsi people are not interested interested in ec because in 2023 in gate 2023 only 45 kiosks were there only 45000 okay in ec only 45000 and ec paper used to come on the tougher side as well but we can see the future i was working in the industry so like i could see that people are actually interested in hiring and vlsi is the future vlsi is actually the future right some particular organization they are looking for like 100 newly college graduate not 100 sorry they are looking for 500 to 600 newly college graduate they will be hiring 500 to 600 students from the fourth year and mtech second year so these kind of things are there so people are looking for people and i know that vlsi is the future and in 2025 you can see the number of aspirants has right up to has risen up to 81000 so from 45k within 2 years it is 81000 and next year it is going to be 1 lakh plus right so yeah vlsi was the future and i could i could see it i am glad that i could see it so always there was a there was a fear that first thing is that i teach in english being from north india i am a north indian ओके okay, भाई हिंदी बोलूंगा तो कोई भी बोलेगा राजस्थान या फिर हरियाणा से आइए ठीक है सो बीइंग फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड यू टीच इन इंग्लिश दैट टू ऑन द राइटिंग पेप पैड सो दीज वर द थिंग्स दैट आई लाइक आई टॉक टू अ लॉट ऑफ एजुकेटर एज वेल लाइक वट एवर दे टोल्ड मी आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम दिस वॉज द सिनारी वैन आई वॉज ड्रॉपिंग द जॉब एट दैट टाइम दिस वॉज द सिनारी दैट इट इज टफ टू सर्वाइव एज एन एज अ गेट एजुकेटर दिस वॉज द सिनारी एट दैट टाइम एंड टिल नाउ टिल दिस पॉइंट आई लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक दैट that it is tough to survive as a gate educator but i will tell you the reality it is not like that so yeah all these things were there and secondly i, I am teaching in english so north indian students will always will not be studying much right they feel that they should be studying in the content in hindi only but yeah now the things have changed like we are having more than 40% like whatever the students are there more than 40% students are from north india only who can very easily understand hindi language and i was thinking that i am teaching on writing pad some people are teaching on digital board so all these things would matter or so thing like complexity but there but with the time i realized that people only care about one thing students only care about one thing that is content 90% of the students care about only one thing that is quality of the content whether it is in hindi or it is in english they just need to know that we can understand the language we can understand the accent then surely they would go for it and i i'm not going to reveal the exact data like if people are people people would be waiting that what is your revenue tell that so surely i can i cannot reveal the exact data but we have made more than enough our organization have made much more than enough much 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 more than the expectation okay and i am grateful i am grateful for that that people actually believed in me people believed in one guy who is just who just passed out in 2023 and going to teach and he people believed in that particular organization people believed in that particular guy and yeah things worked out and things are working out pretty well so yeah i am grateful i am grateful that you people saw the quality of the content you people saw the difference and you came here and when i came the vision was clear only the vision was that i could see the loopholes there are a lot of great educators but i could see something is missing out 
and that gaps needs to be filled because i had already already done the bachelor's along with that i have worked in the industry as well so i could i could know that what industry is looking for so in the organization that i was working in they were having a training of two months like in in the initial two months we were getting the training so in the training i realized that whatever the training that they are giving whatever the amount that they are spending so i can make something out of it whatever the time that they are spending here i can reduce that particular time this kind of thing can be taught to a btech student as well in the college itself and surely mtech student would can also come with this kind of knowledge as well so both of the guys can come with the required knowledge that they are actually expecting so i worked there so i got to know that yeah what a, what is actually missing out what is actually missing out in the gate field as well because i i have i have been a online student like when i was a student i took admission in 2019 so i was al- always studying online only i never went to any offline classes because at that time there was covid so i could i could ha- i could see the content of everyone like this is the online field now you can see the content of every single educator and that i have seen and i till this point till today as well i see the content of all the educators and this is what uh, other educator also does and this is what a good educator should do that whatever your whoever your competition is whoever your competitors are you need to see their content you need to see what kind of things they are teaching what kind of that depth they are covering and what all are the loopholes there and you need to fill those loopholes this is what you need to do right and i and i did the same thing and i and i knew that there are something there are something which needs to be filled right the only concern was will people believe in me will students believe in me because like 50% of my students are actually older than me i am younger than them so this was the fear that they will will they believe in a guy who have just passed out and started teaching but yeah things things worked out a great way and they are working and in this one year when i was uh, working as an employee that at that time i taught uh, network analysis analog electronics and uh, yeah these two subjects i taught and after that when i came back so in one year i have taught uh, aptitude digital electronics emft for ec students and uh, signals and systems right so these subjects we have taught and the rest of the subjects are taken by anisha as well now i am going to teach this year communication system edc and next year i am going to teach control systems and mathematics so complete ec course will be taken by me only in gate 2027 in gate 2026 these subjects i am i am going to teach for gate 2026 from my side control system and engineering mathematics will not be there right and uh, secondly i would like to take the name of anisha like brilliant brilliant support like it's uh, it's because of him only it's because of anish sir that uh, this particular organization is working doing it alone was never a piece of cake it would have been very very difficult for me and he was the only guy who i could trust on right because like i can never get a teacher younger than me right i am already 24 will i be able to get anyone younger than me will i be able to get someone who is a good teacher at 23 age or 22 age so if i want to work with someone he has to be older than me and he would be a stranger for me so trusting on someone for your organization that would have been very difficult for me so but i found someone like anish sir who is very dedicated like he is someone who can work for 15 to 16 hour every day without fail and he will not even compare uh, he will not even complain that's the thing so whatever the like prefusion is mine and prefusion is his as well right it is the organization that is run by two people and both are having the same contribution so massive massive support from anisha that he was there because of him only we have survived because of him only we are able to capture all these kind of things he teaches the subject as well along with that he takes care of the back end as well so everything like whatever that thing i expect from him he does 150% of that if i expect one then he does 1.5 of that and that kind of support he is yeah yeah that's the thing and regarding the salary like regarding the revenue i'm not going to tell the complete revenue but i have told that we have made uh, more than enough and the people if they if, if people are interested then i could say one thing that uh, uh, like why to flaunt the revenue right <laughs> we are having more than 300 students more than 350 full course student okay 350 full course student subject wise course students are also there along with that we are having uh, placement course student as well okay touch wood touch wood everything is going fine i hope everything goes fine so touch wood and yeah so these are the things and one thing i can promise to this industry one thing i can promise to my students that if i am bringing something then i am bringing it after putting a lot of effort whether it is analog electronics or it is signal system or it is emft 
and I will try to bring the level best content that you would ever see. Whether it is a very simple topic or it is a toughest topic. In our channel, one thing I promise that I will never teach only the easy things and make you feel that you know everything. Because this is what happens at a lot of places. They will teach you on the surface level and you feel like that, sir, we know everything, but in the examination you mess it up. But always on this platform, the target would be easy things are easy that we will surely teach, but tougher things should be made easier. And you can see the kind of content. What is the tougher part? In digital electronics, what is the tougher part? STFSM, we brought that. STFSM is completely their own YouTube. In signal system, what is the tougher part? The discrete part, DFT, FFT, DTFS, DTFT, everything is there. What is the tougher part? ROC, that is there. In analog electronics, what is the tougher part? MOSFET, OPAM, differentiator, integrator, Smith trigger, all these are there, right? In network analysis, what is the tougher part? Network analysis is completely available on YouTube. MFT is completely available on YouTube. You can watch the video of Smith chart. Watch the video of, uh, in, uh, in your uh, MFT only, you can watch the video of oblique incidents. You can watch the video of normal incidents. You can see what kind of depth is there, right? What kind of things are have been taught. So not going to talk, talk much about the, uh, much about the content because you guys would be knowing it right so you guys can watch it on your own so this is the thing that i promise that if i am working if i am teaching till the day i am alive i will always teach only okay and if i am teaching i am going to bring i am going to put my the same dedication the same enthusiasm no matter if i teach for 10 years if i teach for 15 years if i teach for 20 years the same enthusiasm the same dedication will be there and that is the promise that i make to my students okay and after studying from here, after studying from this particular platform, I can make sure, I can guarantee this particular thing that uh, you will never ever regret in your life. I cannot guarantee you a great rank, right? A great rank, rank depends on a lot of parameters. Like, it might happen that you mess up uh, in those three hours. A lot of parameters are there for a great rank, but uh, you will never ever regret in your life that uh, that kind of content we studied, that kind of time waste we did on the particular content, this will never happen. That I can guarantee you, wherever, whenever or wherever, whether you go into the industry, whether you go to the masters or you go into ISRO, BRC, everywhere that kind of content will always be there with you. Yeah. Thank you very much. And with that, I would like to tell the offers that is currently running. So offer are currently running gate 40 for 40% 40 off on gate courses and job 25 for 25% off on placement courses. Along with that, I have made, we have made because of this occasion, we have made all the courses absolutely for free till 30th of June. So you can check the quality on your own. You can check what kind of content has been provided on this particular platform and uh, surely try to check the tougher topic, not only the easier topic. Easier topics are easy. Everyone will teach it, teach it in an easy manner only, but try to tackle, try to see the tougher topic as well, right? And no matter wherever you are enrolled, you might be enrolled in coaching X, you might be enrolled in coaching Y. You are always, always my students. And if you feel like that, sir, this particular topic I am not comfortable, then you can surely tell me on Telegram channel and I will surely try to bring some video regarding that, right? And free trials are also there. You can cover those tougher topics or typical topics from the free trial as well. So always make sure to watch that tougher topic as well. Always make sure to watch that typical topics as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.